Are we on the air? Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm going to talk to you about three different Kamui products. The Kamui Glove, the Kamui Chalk, and the Kamui Tips. If you've been around pool for any period of time, you've heard the name Kamui. You probably have some experience with it. And I'm going to talk about their products today. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about economics and see if they're worth the money. The first product I want to talk about is the Kamui Glove. Now, full disclosure, I very rarely use a glove because I use carbon fiber cues and I don't find a need for a glove. But I did do a video talking about the need for a glove and the benefits of wearing a glove. So I tested out some of the less expensive gloves and also the Kamui glove. And I want to tell you some of the reasons I really like the Kamui glove. One, it is very well made. If you are treating these gloves properly, you are washing them occasionally. And one of the downsides of getting a cheap glove is that it will fall apart and it'll fall apart a lot quicker than a quality glove like a Kamui glove. Another thing I like about the Kamui gloves is it comes in numerous colors. So you can get blue, red, black, and they're not over-exaggerated in their design. They're very simple and basic. And that's another thing I like about it. Also, they're vented which give them uh, a lot more wearability. The reason you have a glove in many cases is because your hands are sticky or your cue is sticky and a vented glove just makes a lot of sense. So I do like the Kamui glove. I get so many questions about what kind of tips I'm using. I can't produce a draw shot video without somebody asking me what kind of tip I have on my cue. On all of my cues currently, I have Kamui Black Soft. And Kamui tips are probably the absolute most popular tips on the market. They're the most expensive, which we'll talk about later, but they're also the most popular. I've used about five different brands and I currently use Kamui Soft on every one of my cues. Kamui Chalk is probably one of the most controversial products on the market. One cube of chalk is in the area of $27 to $28. If you're not familiar with this, let me repeat. One cube of chalk, $27 to $28. So, is it worth it and what makes it better than other chalks? First off, the second you put it on your cue, you know that you have a quality product. It goes on like lipstick. It is nice and smooth, it stays on the tip, and it does have better grip than cheaper chalk. At the end, like I said, we'll talk about the economics of this, but the biggest drawback that I hear about the Kamui chalk and the biggest drawback that I have about it is it is messy. You can look at a table and tell if somebody has been using Kamui chalk on that table. It does leave a lot of marks on the table. People tell me it gets on their ferrule, it gets on their hands. It's designed to last, it's designed to stay on, and it stays on everything. So Kamui Chalk is the best on the market without question, but is it worth the $30 price tag? So let's talk about the chalk first. $30 for a cube of chalk is clearly an extraordinary price. You can get a case, two cases, maybe three cases of Master's Chalk for the same cost of one cube of Kamui Chalk. The benefit of Kamui Chalk is that you can put it on your cue and shoot two or three racks and never need to apply it during that entire time period. The problem is, if you have a pre-shot routine, which includes chalking your tip every shot, which you should, then Kamui chalk is not gonna be beneficial to you because you're already chalking up. And if you use this chalk on each and every shot, it's gonna be a very expensive venture. Is it worth the price? In my opinion, no. I currently use Russian Magic Chalk. It's less messy, less expensive, holds up very well, and you can use it as part of your pre-shot routine without spending $30 every two weeks on a cube of chalk. There are also some very good quality chalks out there like Blue Diamond, Predator, and as I said, Russian Magic Chalk. 
that I feel are extraordinary and are going to give you nice grip, less messy, and a much lower price. The next item is the Kamui glove. I think that this glove is absolutely worth the price. It's about $30. There's a link in the description of this video. And the reason it's worth the price, even though it's twice as much as another glove, is this glove is going to last you longer than an economy glove or even some of the premium gloves like the Predator glove. You're paying a few dollars more for something that you're going to have much longer. And like I said, if you're not washing your gloves now and then, uh, that's a problem. And if you are washing them, the cheap ones are going to fall apart. So spend the extra couple bucks. Every time I make a video to discuss pool Q-tips, I get someone in the comments say, well, Efren played the greatest pool in the world with a $2 tip. Well, you're right about one thing. Efren is the greatest player to ever walk the planet. But should you play with a $2 tip on your cue? Let's just do the math. The best tip on the market, which is probably Kamui Black. We can put other tips in there. Mori, Everest, any of the premium tips are going to cost you about $3 a month. Would you sacrifice your A game to save $3 a month? If that's the case, you're watching the wrong channel. And by the way, you're playing the wrong game. Get yourself a quality tip. Kamui Black happens to be my favorite. It is the favorite in the industry. It is the most used by professionals and not just because of sponsorship. Be careful about buying products because you like the guy who uses the cue, the tip, the chalk, etc. If you put $20 tires on a $50,000 car, you have a $2,000 car. Put a quality tip on your quality cue. Make it jazzy, Brian. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.